Shalom Yashra'ala. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Chakurash, the bonds to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who taught us this truth. And salutations to all the Akim pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. All right, the, the Heavenly Father, the Almighty God, the Creator of heaven and earth, his name is Yahweh. His name means He is, He exists, He is all, right? Baha Sham is literally in the name. And his only begotten son, it's not JC, it's Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai's name means he saves, he delivers, all right? And he died for his people, and he's coming back to deliver his elect from his people. He's not going to save all his people this time around. He's only going to save the elect of the nation of Israel, which are you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians today. And also the speckled bird, all right? Israelite foreigners, all right? Israelites that look like the other nations. Hold on, let me close this window. These people are fucking crazy. Slock you. But nonetheless, the Lord set up watchmen, you know, that are not going to, you know, hold their peace there nor night, you know? So we, we're going to warn you of what's to come because it's right there at the door, man. All right. All right. World World War Three is brewing up. The MOTB is on the scene. All right. Another uh, 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 false flag is is approaching. All right. And we got to continue to stay on our watch. Continue to pray always. All right. Pray without ceasing. All right. Non-stop prayer. Like the look up the word importunity. Importunity. All right. Constantly praying to the Lord, begging the Lord, all right, to, to bring his judgments, to bring his prophecies, all right, and to deliver us, Lord willing, all right, to blot out all our sins, transgressions, and our secret faults, all right, because hey, the kingdom of heaven is nigh, man, so believe the gospel, repent, all right, turn back to the Lord, all right, who is the only one that could save you of what's to come, and what's coming, the Lord is the one sending it. All right, get that. The Lord is the one sending the death, the destruction, the famine, the sword, the pestilence. The Lord's bringing that, man. He's the one sending it. All right. And when he arrives, he's going to bring fire. You see? And, and, and he's bringing all this for the wicked of our people, two-thirds of our people here in America. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. The heathens... Who gives a fuck about y'all? You definitely are not going to make it. All right? But nonetheless, the Lord's bringing these plagues. And guess what? He's the only one that could save us out of it. He's the only one that could preserve us. All right? So that we don't taste death. You see? And that's why you need to call upon Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai for your salvation. All right? This is Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 8. Again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh, say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. And he hath given it to be furbished, that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, and it is furbished. To give it into the hand of the slayer. Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon the, thy thigh. All right. So the Lord is sending the sword, all right, to slaughter you Israelites, man. All right. They want to go serve other gods, false gods that are not even real gods, man. They're idols. All right. The Lord's bringing great death and destruction, man. A, a time like never before is coming here. You see? And again, the only way out of it, the only way through Jacob's trouble is through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's the only way. 
All right? Hey, and the, who's the Lord's sword, man? It's Esau Edom. Esau Edom, man. He His blessing was the sword, you see? This is Psalms chapter 17, verse 13. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. All right. And, and, and who's this? Again, I told you Esau. Well, the scriptures tell you Esau Edom. All right. Was given the blessing of the sword. You know, when you read Genesis, the 27th chapter. All right. All right, and uh, um, hey, he's the Lord's sword, and he is the wicked. You know, what did it say there? It says, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. All right, well, let's prove who the wicked is. You see? Yep. Yep, here, the you know, Messiah 1, all right? Malachi, the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 1, the burden of the word of Yahweh to Israel by Malachi, all right? So this warning, this message, this good news even, has always been to the Israelites, man. It's not much mentioning Moab or Ammon or Ishmael, right? It's not mentioning Esau, all right? We have to give warning to you Israelites, man. You stiff-necked, hard-headed-ass Israelites, man, all right? Malachi 1 and 1, the burden of the word of Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith Yahweh. Yet ye say, wherein, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith Yahweh? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. <clears throat> Here's the point, verse 4. Malachi 1 and 4, whereas Edom, right, the so-called white man, Esau Edom, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, right, of armies, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever, right? Righteous anger, okay? We call the Edomites the border of wickedness. They are the wicked, all right? So now you know who got the sword, is furbished. Hey, and he's coming down with great wrath. He's going to use it, man. You see? And, and where is he going to start first? Let's see. Let's see what the scripture says. This is the word of the Heavenly Father, right? This is what he says, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, right, who know that we're Israelites, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? So for all you that know that you're an Israelite, but are not living as an Israelite, as you're not an Israelite inwardly, but only by appearance, you see? There's many camps out there, all right? But not all of them have 100% truth. Here at Great Millstone, the Wadi Yahawabah Shem Shai, we got 100% truth, man. And we stand by that. All right? We stand boldly by that. You see? You can't call the name whatever the hell. You, you can't call the Lord any name you want. Excuse me. You cannot call the name any name you want. I'm sorry. You can't call the, the Lord Yahawabah Shem Shai. Any name you want, all right? It's not JC, it's not, uh, you know, C-H-R-I-S-T, all right? These are all idols, man, all right? The Lord has only one name, all right? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You got to honor the Father and the Son, you see? And guess what? Judgment is going to come to those that know that they're Israelites first, all right? So when the enemy comes in like a flood on you, you bogus-ass Israelites, you see? You pseudo Israelites, hey, the Lord's gonna allow Esau to fuck you up. All right? But for the men of the Lord, hey, guess what? The Lord's gonna lift up a standard against Esau. All right? We're waiting for him to come in like a flood because Yahweh Shimei Washai is gonna deliver his men. All right? He's gonna deliver us. You see? 
And then from there, hey, it's going to go to the rest of you Israelites, man. You guys want to continue saying you're black or African-American or Hispanic or Latino or, or a Native American Indian or whatnot. Hey, that's not who you are. Those are all bywords and proverbs, man. All right, you got to be renewed in your mind, in your heart, all right, and, and turn away from your iniquities, all right, and follow after righteousness, man. Seek the Lord while he may be found, all right? Here it is, you know, standing on our watch. We see that France is about to shut down the internet, man. What do you think that's going to do to other countries? Huh? It's going to be a domino effect, man. Other countries are going to fall in line. All right, things are going to get heated up. Again, World War III is on the horizon. You see? They're going to bring in this, what, this new uh, digital currency, all right, to set up their, their, their new world order. All right, we're, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. We see this shit coming, you know? Yeah, and Esau, he got that sword. He's coming, he's going to use that sword. He's going to definitely use that sword, man. You see? This is Revelation chapter 12, um, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe, remember, W-O-E, woe means destruction. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, the word devil means deceiver. All right, who's the deceiver? Esau, Edom. He's the damn devil the Bible speaks of, man. All right, he deceived the whole world. All right. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So, you know, this, this, this devil, Esau, Edom, He's wiser than Daniel, all right? He's wiser than Daniel. He knows these scriptures. That's why he was able to manipulate the scriptures, all right? And fool our people and the rest of the world, man. You see? This is, um, let me see. <clears throat> this is 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 68. For behold... The burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach and trodden underfoot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then they shall be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. All right. So the Lord's bringing the pledge. He's bringing the destruction. He's sending Esau, right? But guess what? He's also the one delivering his chosen. You see? Verse 75. Be not afraid, neither doubt. For the Most High is your guide and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord God, Yahweh. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. All right. So, hey, we're rehearsing the righteous acts, you see, and, and we're covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai. He was that perfect sacrifice. All right. So, hey, you know, don't let the, the, the old man come back, man. Kill that motherfucker every day. Let him die the death away. You know what I mean? Be, on, be the new man. Put on the new man. You see? And, and, and keep your eyes single, man. All right? And, and focusing on the end. We got to endure to the end. You see? And guess what? We don't need to be afraid. And we don't... We, hell no, we don't need to doubt nothing, man. The Lord is with us. He said, I will be with you always, even unto the end. You see? So the Lord is with us even now in this very moment, man. All right? And that's why you got to pray always. Above all this, pray always. The Lord direct that way in truth, man. All right, Sirach 37 and 15. Okay. 
Because hey, hey, what's coming is for the wicked of our people, man. All right? Who, who don't even care or consider the Lord. All right? This is verse 76. I'm sorry, uh, um, verse 77. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. It is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. So, you know, all what's coming right now is to, to implement the MOTB, man, all right? Which is that, that new digital currency that's going to uh, be a little micro C-hip, right? C-H-I-P. That's going to go into your hand or your forehead, all right? You're not going to be able to buy or sell anything unless you have that, all right? All, all you know, fiat or, or, or tangible currency, you know, the paper money, the coins, that shit is going to be obsolete, all right, it's going to be void. It's, you're not going to be able to use it. It's going to be like Venezuela. That's what's coming. All right. That paper money don't mean shit. All right. And that's why I'm trying to tell you, right, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, right? Hey, the best thing for you to do is fear the Lord, man. Fear Yahweh Bashim Shai. Because in the times to come, the time of famine, in the time of this great destruction, Jacob's trouble, hey, we're going to be eating, drinking, and rejoicing, man. Not, not the two-thirds. They're, they're going to be through. They're going to trust in Esau, Edom, man. But guess what? The storehouses are going to be empty, right? The supermarket's empty. People are going to be invading one another for lack of bread. The love of many shall wax cold. Friends shall turn into enemies, man. These are all scriptures, all right? You got to keep this in mind. That's what's coming. You see? But since we chose the Lord, well, no, I'm sorry, excuse me, Salakia, all right? We have the fear of the Lord, and the, the, the Lord chose us, man. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen thee, right? As the scripture says, Salakia. Hey, because we fear the Lord, we're following the Lord, we've forsaken all, all right? The Lord is going to look out for us. He's going to keep us from that hour of temptation, as he said, all right? And the Lord's not a man that shall lie, you see? His words are faithful and true, you know? And that's why it's better to trust in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, than in man, than in princes, all right? Than in anything or anyone, all right? It's better to trust in the Lord, man, you see? Because the Lord always makes a way for his men, always, all right? Sirach 2 and 10, look at the generations of old, man. You see, that's why you got to get this truth now. Before the famine of the word comes, because that's approaching as well. Again, France, they're about to shut the internet off. That's going to happen worldwide, all right? And then they're going to bring out these unrighteous decrees where we can't go out and teach, right? The state of Michigan right now, you'll get like a $10,000 fine for, for uh, um, saying, you know, or, you know, calling a sodomite a sodomite or, you know, using words like that, you know what I mean? That'll offend these weak ass niggas. All right, the time is coming, man. And guess what? That's beautiful, man, because we're that much closer to the kingdom of heaven. All right, and then that's also prophecy, man. Amos, the eighth chapter about the famine of the word. You see, that's where we're at in this timeline. We're at the end, you know. And those and those that, hey, those that want to continue sinning, those that want to go down to Egypt for help, those that want to trust Esau, Edom. All right, you're going to take the badge of the anti-Messiah, which is that digital micro C-hip that's going to go into your hand or your forehead, all right? You're going to suffer a lot of shit, okay? And, and you're going to have no hope. <laughs> you're going to have no hope. You're going to have no one to turn to because you refused and rejected knowledge, man. So the Lord's going to reject your ass, you see? And then you're going to get destroyed by thermonuclear fire, as the scripture says. You take that micro C hip, you take that micro C hip in your hand or your forehead, and the Lord's going to burn you up, man. You're going to be dwelling in torments, you see? That's why, hey, those that remain, let me just get it real quick, because I don't, I, don't, I don't like quoting scriptures. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 23, verse 27. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better 
than the fear of the Lord, and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. It is great glory to follow the Lord and to be received of Him is long life. You see? Because we follow after the Lamb, He's going to give us a crown of immortality. All right? We're never going to die again. We're never going to get sick again. We're going to be perfect. We're never, ever going to sin. We're never, ever going to transgress the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Never, ever again, man. You see? And right now we're rehearsing the righteous acts, but guess what? We're still in this flesh, all right? So it's not kept perfectly, but the Lord sees us, man, that we're trying. He sees our faith, you see? And he's going to bless us with, a, with, with salvation and with a crown of immortality, man. And we're going to be joint heirs with him, you see? All because we fear the Lord and we took heed to his commandments, man. All right, we're really about this truly dealing, man. All right, true dealings endure forever, Joe. Man, Anya Bataya, how about Shimi Awashai, man? Because, hey, he could have chose anybody to do this, man. He could have chose anyone to do this. And, and he, he chose babes, he chose sinners to do this, man. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. You see? We were predestined. We were chosen from the beginning. Lord willing, we are the elect, man. We got to put on as the elect and hope that we are, you see? And not fear and not doubt ever, okay? Verse 9, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. Right? You have the liberty right now to do the right thing, man. All right? Not to do whatever the fuck you want to do. But do the righteous thing. Do the right thing. Okay? Follow after righteousness. All right? And be filled, man. Blessed is he that, that thirsteth. And go, you know, I don't like, I don't, I don't like, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like, uh, you know, quoting scriptures. Let's get it. Let's read it correctly. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. It's in red. This is the book of Matthew, chapter five, verse six. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Man, you see, there's a reward at the end of this thing, man. All right, the Lord is not. Uh, uh, Unrighteous to forget our labors of love. You know, Hebrews, let's get that real quick too. 11 and 6, I believe. Oh, no, wait, this is one that sounds just like that. Hold on one second. Uh, yeah, 6 and 10. Okay, Hebrews 6 and 10. For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name. And that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. You see? And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of the hope unto the end. All right? So we got to continue to grind and put that work in, man. All right? Because the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few, man. So we got to go overtime. We got to put in that work. We got to continue to read and study. And exhort one another and be brotherly, you see? All right? This is back in 2nd Ezra chapter 9. Of, I'll read 11 again. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when, and when as yet, as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it. The same, verse 12, man, here's the point, man. This is, this is the scary part, man. 
the same must know it after death by pain. All right? Death by pain, dwelling in torments, man. Here it is, the king of terrors, man. All right? He's, the Lord's bringing fire, man. He, he first drowned. He, he flooded the whole earth the first time. All right? And saved only eight people. It was Noah, his three sons, Shem, Japheth, and Ham, and their wives, four women. All right? This time he's going to bring fire. And he's only going to save the elect, all right? The 144,000 men of Israel, 12,000 men from each tribe. All right? And, and the, you know, including the... And, and which the one third here in America, because two thirds of Israelites here in America, you're gonna get burnt up to a crisp. You ain't gonna make it here. You're gonna you're gonna die by fire here, man. You see, hey, and other places are gonna get hit around the world as well. Let's not get it twisted. All right, Israel's gonna get smoked. All right, they're gonna bomb that place too. You see, but guess what? When we when the Lord comes in and you know delivers us, right? And we go into the chariot. Hey, when we come back down, we're gonna we're gonna purge all the rebels, man. All right, uh, uh, Luke nineteen twenty seven. You know those that don't want uh, the Lord Yahweh to reign over them, you're gonna be decap decapitated, man. This is all in the Bible. This is what the Lord is saying. You see? Hey, we're cleaning house, Joe. We're cleaning house, man. When the Lord comes, it's it's over with, man. All right. He said it. Let me get that real quick. Matthew 10 and 34. Matthew 10 and 34. It's in red. This is Yahweh Shai speaking, man. The one who the world ignorantly refers to as JC. All right? Yahweh Shai is a so-called black man. He's dark skinned, very dark, with woolly hair. White woolly hair, Joe. All right? Revelation, the first chapter, describes him, man. It reveals him. You see? This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. You see? What do you do with a sword? You divide, man. Divide and conquer. You split a nigger in two, man. You see? The Lord's not playing, man. He's, gonna, he's coming here to destroy Israelites, all right, that are wicked, all right? And, and, and the heathens, you're going to get fucking a blue, a blue, a <laughs> blue, I can't say it. Your ass is gonna turn to dust, my nigga. That's it for you. You're through. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that word. I'm... Oh, okay. We're moving on. All right. But here's the point too. This is Second Ezra nine and thirteen. This uh, thirteen. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. You see. So, hey, hey, we're just worried about, hey, the elect, man. How the elect are going to make it. How the elect are going to be saved and fed. You see? How, how the Lord's going to make a way for his elect. All right? How the Lord's going to give his elect spiritual powers. All right? And this is the beginning of it. Understanding this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Having this spirit of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy, prophecy, is the beginning of that spiritual power. And it's only going to get increased, man. Are you seeing? Because right now we're fishing, but soon we're going to be hunters, man. Jeremiah 16 and 16. You see? And the Lord Yahweh Shai said, everything you've seen me do, you're going to do and greater. All right? The Lord walked on water. Okay? He, he, he raised people from the dead. All right? He healed, man. You see? We're going to be healing people too and doing much more, man. All right, because there's another scripture that says that the Lord did so many miracles that it would, you wouldn't be able to contain it in a book, man. So imagine that everything he did and greater. You see, that's the power we serve, man. That's the power that we call upon and we worship. You see, the one we fear is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so the Lord, hey, he's going to know us and remember us in that day. All right, he's going to preserve us from what's to come. All right. And that's the faith you got to have. Be bold about it, man. All right? Here it is. We're doing everything the Lord's asking us to do. Telling us. I'm sorry. Not asking or telling us. Commanding us to do. All right? These are commandments. You see? We fear and tremble at his word, man. All right? And to the best of our ability, we're giving it our all, man. You know, hoping to what? To be the Lord's delight. 
So that what? He could save us and our households. He could save all my brothers, man. And their loved ones too. All right? Because I'm not in this by myself. We got the house of David right here waxing stronger and stronger every fucking day, man. Right? Waiting on the Lord, man. And we see it. The Lord's coming soon, man. You see? Yeah, we still got to blow the trumpet, man. Give our people warning. Hey, the time is near. The time is near. You know? Hey, and with that, I hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakurash, Dabon, to the apostles and others of Great Millstone who rule well and who taught us this truth. And salutations to all the Akiyam, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom, Wa, Ababa, Baal.